The sex industry, which has an annual turnover of a 30 billion in the United States alone, will soon present the loudest novelty, a companion robot that can keep up a conversation, learn, and never say no. Such a car costs about $15,000. At Abyss Creations, a company that manufactures them in San Marcos, California, a life-size android is attached by hinges to a stand, like a doll in a store. Her name is Harmony. She is wearing a white leotard. Her breasts are sharply protruding forward and thin fingers with a French manicure lightly touch her slender hips. Harmony is a cyber version of a hyper-realistic silicone sex toy which the company will soon release for wide sale. The room in which Harmony was assembled is laid with lacquered pine boards and covered with numerous wires and circuit boards. In the corner, there is a 3 printer that buzzes, spitting out small, intricate details that will be embedded in the skull of a sex robot with a permanent virtual circuit. Her brown eyes pierce me with their gaze. Harmony can smile, wink, and frown. She can support almost any conversation, joke, and even quote Shakespeare. Its creator, Matt McMullen, told me that an android can remember what your favorite dishes are, when your birthday is, and what your brothers and sisters' names are. She can talk about music, movies, and books. And, of course, Harmony will have sex with you any way you want. Harmony is the culmination of the production of sex dolls, which began 20 years ago, and five years of research in the field of robotics. McMullen's customers wanted something as human, like as possible, and he created his own unique product. At first, his team made silicone dolls that looked as much like real women as possible. Then they decided that this was not enough and gave them a personality, and in fact, breathed life. The company plans to release a thousand copies to meet the demand of the most demanding customers. Harmony has implemented a voice and face recognition system, a motion sensor, and animation engineering. All this was done so that the hyper-realistic doll could greet its owner with a smile when he comes home, entertain him with lively conversations, and never refuse sex. This sex machine has something that no robot has. Harmony is able to learn and learn the desires of the client. These robots can occupy an empty niche in the sex entertainment industry. With such abilities, Harmony looks more like an imitation of a partner than an ordinary sex toy. When computer engineers manage to create an artificial intelligence, I, so complex as to make the relationship between a human and a robot a reality, first of all, they thought that their development would serve for the benefit of humanity. Usually, Clients send photos that the company focuses on when creating a robot. If this is a real person, then engineers need his written permission. We even had clients who asked to make an exact copy of themselves, adds McMillan. The company's statistics show that men make up 95% of customers and women, respectively, account for only 5%. The company makes male dolls for them but not with such customization capabilities. This business was originally tailored to men and their whims. 20 years later, he officially launched Real Dolls. Now they ship 600 dolls a year all over the world, the price of which starts from its 4,400 basic version and goes up to 50,000 and even more if the buyer has any special wishes. The company makes dolls with real red flesh, with devil horns and vampire fangs, and even completely covered with stiff bristles. From neck to ankle, sex robots even manage to visit the filming of the TV drama Lores and the Real Girl with Ryan Gosling. In 2007, 
the book Love and Sex with Robots was published, the author of which was a British A engineer, David Levy. It was he who predicted that sex robots, in addition to their main functions, will have a therapeutic effect for humans. Those who, for some reason, have become outcasts in society will be able to take advantage of the advantages that robots provide, he wrote. Harmony creator Matt McMullen is not the only one who tried to create the world's first sex android. In 1994, when Matt McMullen was 24 years old, he began designing women's silicone molds in his garage. Initially, he made small figures which he showed at a local comic convention. Later, the engineer was already fully engaged in the idea of creating a life-size human surrogate. McMullen took several photos of his dolls and posted them on the website in 96, hoping that some of his friends or artists would support his endeavors. In general, this happened when everyone just started using the internet everywhere, and certain fetishist societies formed their own forums and online communities. As soon as Matt posted photos of his first sex doll, he was showered with a stream of rather strange messages. For example, how much do they look like women from an anatomical point of view? Are they for sale? Is it possible to have sex with him? And so on? After that, the engineer decided to replace latex with silicone, so his dolls became more real to the touch and the silicone skin felt almost like real when rubbed. Initially, he asked for a price of $3,500 for each robot, counting all the costs and time for production. But when he realized how great the demand was, he began to gradually increase the cost of his products. The client can assemble a doll to suit his needs. There are 14 options for the design of the labia and 42 options for the type of nipples. Moreover, it is possible to add detail, for example, a certain color of nail polish or, say, bright red capillaries in the eyeball. The company's makeup artist will create any makeup of eyebrows, cheeks, and lips, or even make an exact copy of a celebrity. Usually, clients send photos that the company focuses on when creating a robot. If this is a real person, then engineers need his written permission. We even had clients who asked to make an exact copy of themselves, adds McMillan. The company's statistics show that men make up 95% of customers and women, respectively, account for only 5%. The company makes male dolls for them, but not with such customization capabilities. This business was originally tailored to men and their whims. Thanks for watching. Put likes and subscribe to the channel.